Hey folks, welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. I've been mentioning I've been testing out different green screen replacement applications. Uh, it was inspired by everybody using Zoom and different conferencing software and decided to give it a try of my own. Um, so there are two applications that are readily available for a one-time setup or a monthly subscription fee. You can see them with their little uh, tags in the corner there. So there's Chroma Cam at the top, on the top right hand side of the screen. And there's XSplit VCam at the bottom. Um, which, both of them as I move around, you can see a lot more artifacting on the VCam. When I put my hand up, you can see the differences in what happens with my hand there. Chroma Cam actually handles it a little bit better than VCam. But the other option that I've been using is actually a older RealSense kit. So I don't know if I can, let me see if I can hold this up closer without it disappearing. And that's the RealSense Developer Kit. So this is the R200 RealSense Developer Kit, uh, which is a very old piece of technology at this point. I think it's about four or five years old. And RealSense kind of died. Um, they still use the depth camera for some applications, but they never perfected the background replacement. Uh, there were a couple of applications that came out. One of them actually was the Chroma Cam uh, application. It used to be called Personify Cameo. Um, and they moved on to just using regular 2D webcams. Um, and another was UCAM RX, which is software that I have not been able to find available anywhere. I know it was available in like 2017, 2018, but it hasn't come back since then. And it's no longer available for sale. So I haven't been able to test that particular piece of software. But overall, I feel like the RealSense camera, even in its outdated technology, does a little bit better at capturing um, outside of big head movements and things of that nature. Like, it'll glitch out a little bit there. It does a little bit better at capturing uh, my image than the two non-device non specific uh, use cases. So right now the other thing I want to mention is I'm using a Logitech C920 with Chroma Cam in the top corner. I'm using my laptop HD web camera with the XSplit V Cam in the bottom and I'm using on the left hand side the Creative um, Intel RealSense uh, developer kit. Again this is the R 200 or F200, something of that nature. I think it's actually F200 kit. Uh, and this was actually dated on the box October 2014 is, is when that was released and shipped out. So it's about a five year old camera at this point. So I just wanted to show like I, I, I've been trying out experimenting with these different applications. A green screen is always going to be better. I don't really have space for a green screen in my home. Um, but with proper lighting, the Intel RealSense works pretty well. Um, the other thing I want to show is what happens when I throw on a VR headset with each of these cameras. Because that turns into something a little bit more interesting. So give me just a moment to do that. Because as you know, it's a VR channel, right? So if we put on an Oculus Quest... Each of those three camera positions is going to look a little bit different. And if we add the Oculus Touch hand controllers, again, as we move around, things will change. And if we're a little bit stationary, kind of resets to a pretty decent picture usually. Um, Obviously my eyes are covered right now, I'm not actually playing anything, but uh, you can see what the difference is between the three different uh, green screen replacement applications. Overall, 
probably won't use these on a regular basis at all. Um, I have not committed to paying for Chroma Cam or X Split because I found like what I've already got is a little bit better already with the uh, RealSense camera. Um, I do also find that wearing a hat or wearing something over my head makes parts of my head not disappear in, in the Intel RealSense camera. It's interesting. Sometimes it'll lose my ears. Right now it's not doing that, but if I give it a moment, it will. Actually, let me take the hat off and try. Um, so it just lost my hair pattern there, you can see. It just kind of disappears, and, and there's the ear creeping out. It forgets them, um, which is interesting. Um, and that might be why they never really finished the technology with that. But I've been doing this experimentation for a while. I wanted to share the results in case anybody had interest in doing something like this. Of course, uh, current state with everyone working from home uh, people are looking for green screen replacement or something to replace their background whether it's a cluttered background or other people in the background for privacy things of that nature so just wanted to share some of the results that I've had with this type of experience uh, I don't feel like ex especially the X split B cam is, is really a, a viable choice though vcam and chroma cam are both very similar and vcam i think has a, a deal where you can get it for like 19.99 or or something of that na nature for a lifetime license um, if you can find an intel real sense camera and, and you're interested in this technology it definitely does work but if you're using conferencing software so zoom uh, the Microsoft Teams software, a bunch of other applications now already have background replacement that is very similar to what Chroma Cam and VCam offer um, with no cost. Uh, it's, it's built into the application. But if you're looking for something like this, this is what you get, uh, essentially. So I just wanted to share my results of this type of testing. Again, probably not going to use this on a regular basis, but just wanted to give a little sampling of what it's like. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Uh, I will be getting back into VR with at least one video this week, uh, but I wanted to ease back into it after not feeling well for a little while um, and, and get some other experimental stuff out. So. That's what you're looking at right now. I will be back soon with additional content. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Stay safe in your homes. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.